So this is day three of NAM, and I got here a little early so I can do a little videoing of the outside. It's really been an exciting uh, couple days. I gotta say, next time I'm definitely gonna come several days earlier and take advantage of some of the free educational things that they're offering. And um, I connected with a bunch of people regarding some of the music therapy side of uh, music and YouTube. I think uh, there are a lot of vendors here, a lot of uh, makers of products that could definitely be used for a variety of uh, purposes, for a variety of tactile and other types of ways of playing instruments. There was one keyboard that was similar to the Rolly C board that I have to go check out again. It was a different beast. Kind of easier to play, but interesting for sure. I think some kids would really enjoy it. So I'm just walking along here. Ran into several of uh, the YouTubers that I really enjoyed watching. And um, got to meet like Robert Baker, Snowball, Snowball Tone guy. He's making pedals now too, which is cool. And um, Dan and Mick kind of saw them the first day and then didn't want to interrupt them the second day. I'm doing some pedal testing and there they are, standing next to me. Mick's like right there next to me. And I'm like, hey, you're Mick Taylor. <laughs> that was pretty cool. But, you know, they're busy doing their thing. I didn't want to interrupt them much. So there it is, the NAM show. Last night saw an interesting uh, band called uh, Body Count, which is actually iced tea with like a hardcore rap metal type of sound. It was pretty killer. And uh, here we go. We're going to go on in. So uh, yesterday I did get a chance to go into the Gibson booth and they did a top-notch job on that. I think their new CEO, the guy who heads up uh, Levi's, um, it's really done an excellent job. Oh, this is like best of show thing. I think how to grow your business and they have a variety of other like educational ones. But as I was saying, I didn't get a chance to get up to um, Fender yesterday. Oh, here's the map of the place, by the way. It's, it's insane how many vendors there are here. Literally thousands. And I'm heading right up to Fender because uh, I didn't get a chance to check it out yesterday. I would definitely want to check out the Dragon. The Dragon. Telecaster, the Jimmy Page Telecaster. I'm going to test out if I can take pictures with this little remote while I'm doing this. I don't think it's working. Yeah, this is real interesting footage, I know. <laughs> I might cut it out. And that's another thing I'll have to learn how to do. Video editing. So, we'll take a quick sneak peek into Gibson again. Since, uh, we didn't really have much of a chance yesterday. It'll be nice to see it empty. How you doing? Good morning. They had a killer show last night. I didn't even get to this side of the building. So let's go ahead and start. Oh, we have some Epiphones here. Wonder if they have uh, my favorite. The Richie Faulkner. It's not there. Some KRKs. They thump. And that's a single cut. Pretty killer. So this looks like this is the Epiphone side, so hopefully we will see some shredding guitars as well. Ooh, I like that one. Nice color. Kind of an antique burnt orange. Let's see, what is that? That is the master built 500 MCE. And we got some more beautiful Epiphones. All right. 
Killer. There's just too much to see, really. We got one for the Rainbow Coalition. Hmm, digging that green double cutaway. That is killer. Hmm. Alright. Some hollow bodies. Doing a little sound check up on stage. Some boogies, some black star. And I believe Gibson makes uh Ah, the Kramers. Ah, I'm really happy to see this. So I don't want to interrupt this guy's vlog over here, but we've got the uh, the brand material merch. Oh, these are cool. T-shirts, obviously. If you want a Gibson T-shirt or a hoodie, do they have the infamous? Uh, Tone polish here somewhere. <laughs> I think that's it. Oh my god. Little. This one. Gotta grab one of these. Yeah. All right, here we go. That's pretty killer. Some Seymour's in there. It's a Floyd Rose. Licensed. Oddly, they don't have the prices here at uh, Gibson, but a lot of the other places was displaying prices. Kind of like this reverse headstock here. Single cut. Nice purple color. Awesome. Some nice bases. Art, art space. Similar anyway, not quite. Look at this polka dot baby. Like ebony fretboard or maybe rich light. Looks like rich light. It's too perfect for anything else. Now we're gonna head on over to the other side. What was really cool is yesterday we had uh, these stations here where uh, like this, this young gentleman here is uh, displaying how to carve the top of a custom, yeah, custom Les Paul. Still working on that, huh? I'm still picking it up. Still picking it up. <laughs> I'm a woodworker as well. <laughs> I, I got into woodworking as a kid doing plastic models and I started building things yeah. out of balsa wood and stuff. I, I did And do. then, you know, I, I, I won some awards with some of those things. Yeah. Like I built a Santa Maria on Columbus Day and oh, won a $25 yeah, yeah. bond from a bank and they kept the boat. They wouldn't <laughs> give it back. But um, I love doing woodwork and someday oh, yeah. I'll make guitars, but I don't have time yet. <laughs> someday I'll have time. But that is beautiful, man. My brother that, look and I at that. used to carve uh, fishing lures and stuff with balls. Oh, okay, very cool. Nice. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you. So, Rick. It was good to meet you, man. Heinrichsen. I got that right, right? Yeah. Heinrichsen. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> nice to meet you. Beautiful work. Thank you. I'm glad Gibson really pulled out the stops for this booth. This is yeah. fabulous. It's yeah, really. We, it, it's fun. It's fun yeah. to have this and show people what we're really, yeah. really doing. Yeah, and, and, and you know, Gibson is such a big part of music. Yeah. Not to be here last year was yeah. like, a, it felt so wrong. Yeah, and the are, way you guys came back, I mean, look at this. I was here place. last night. Right. <laughs> I was playing a, a hollow body over there that was beautiful. I mean, yeah. a 335, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Great, thank you so thank much. Thank you. Wow, oh, look at these babies. I want one of these really badly. Nice. Oh, the light just doesn't do it justice, really. Nice tobacco. Sunburst here. Ah, oh, and a P90. 
So these are the standards all along this row right here. Yeah, nice. So I guess the 50s style, from what I understand, the necks were bigger. Yeah, oh, definitely bigger on this puppy. Nice rosewood. And these specials. I've always liked these. They're just that bare bones, kick ass, rock and roll guitar, black soap bar pickups, TV yellow, of course. And it's not a paint, it's a stain. You can see the grain. I love that. Of course, you got your SGs. That's beautiful. Maestro Vibrola. I think I saw um, Tommy Shaw play one of these at the Styx concert in Concord last year. And I just love this blue. That Pelham kind of. This also doesn't do it justice. It's got more of a green to it in real life. Nice. Glad I came early because this is a good chance to catch catch everything without too much of a crowd here, here yet. Man, look at that. Mm. Look at that beautiful burrow. Curly maple. Huh. The Kraken, a Gibson Kraken. I think uh, Rabe Masad might, might need this <laughs> to go with his Kraken amps. Oh, and here's a, an example of that carved top, like what that guy was doing, or this, yeah. Or is that a really, no, that really is, yeah. That's that carve right into the maple. Or is that, no, that's alder. No, that is maple. That is maple. Man, these are just beautiful. Mm. Wow, look at that. Look at that. This, this artwork is absolutely amazing. I, I think they've given them all a run for their money. Mm. Just fabulous. Look at the pink one. And that pick guard too. That's just something else. All right, let me let some other guys in. Wow. Look at that. Figured maple. Book match. Look at the detail on the pickups here. It's just awesome. I'm digging this native one, the dream catcher. I'm gonna get the stick out of the way here. Look at that, carved in. That is so cool. I really like this one. No. The feathers and leathers. Fifty nine less ball. I think this is an actual real fifty nine. Look at the crackle and the finish. Yeah, this is this I don't think they are faking this one. I think this is the real deal. Look at that. That is so bitchin'. I wanna make that. <laughs> uh, Alright, I gotta touch it. I touched it. Oh. Kinda feels nice. Even the neck has like a crackliness to it. See how much it weighs. Oh, ow. Oh. I'm so tired I can't even lift that. <laughs> the green lemon. That is just custom shop one-off. Alright, so this was made to look like this. But wow. I'm just blown away. Right, and then we've got, of course, the uh, Pelham Blue. You've seen it in a Foo Fighters video, maybe? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. And look at that. Finish on that. 
It's just awesome. Brian Ray, not Brian May, Brian Ray, SG Jr. <laughs> Uh, I love I love flying bees. I don't know why. They just they look like a bird in flight, like a rocket ready to take off. Some marshals. Oh, it's funny. So, in the origin amps, twenty water. I'm digging it. Look at that. I've always wanted one of these hockey stick headed beasts, but I have to say, I'd rather have a brown one. <laughs> but that one's pretty killer. Let's yeah. walk custom. Something about a firebird. Johnny Winter replica. Look at that. It looks like it really has truly aged in a bar for like 30 years. No problem. Didn't want to interrupt you guys. No. These are killer. Look at that. I love that finish. The aged binding. Nice. Mm. And back to the golds. 68. So let's check out the neck on these. So, yeah, so now the. Seems like the late 60s necks are not quite as fat as the 50s. They've still got some meat on them though. Yeah, that is just. Unfortunately, the uh, video is not really picking up the. Oh, it's kind of picking it up, this kind of aged white. I remember when I had that Gibson uh, Wayne Robert Charvel designed Super Strat Gibson. Yeah. Um, that white finish, I think it was called Arctic White or something when I first got it. It was really white, white, kind of like that thick guard. And it turned like this yellowish color, and unfortunately, it was stolen. But that was a fun guitar. Gibson's uh, one step into the uh, shredder strat body designs. Oh, check out this gold firebird, man. Amazing. I'm getting a call from Tom. I guess I gotta stop this video.